check the attachment of metal track to the footing before walls are built. All corners should be installed first. While other forming methods may call for building into the corners, the design and precise layout of the quad lock system is best suited for building from the corners to a common seam in the middle of the wall. Properly assembled, the unique quad lock corner assembly virtually eliminates the need for additional corner bracing and makes multi-story construction safe and efficient. To start, always work from the inside of the corner facing out. Have panels, ties and corner brackets ready and within arm's reach. Pre-cut and pre-bent reinforcing bar should also be placed just inside the footing. To better resist concrete pressure during the pour, Quadlock now recommends that all the bottom panels be secured into place with spray foam, as shown in this demonstration. Place a 3 quarter inch wide bead of foam at the outside corner of each track over a distance of not more than 8 to 12 feet. Quickly place the panels in the track before the foam has a chance to set. The foam will adhere the panels to the track and fill the tie slots at the bottom. Place two full 48 inch panels in the outside track at 90 degrees to one another, always lapping the left panel over the right. Place outer corner brackets over the knobs as shown. For the inner corner panels, cut the ends closest to the corner by the wall cavity dimension plus 2 inches. For example, inside corner panels for a 6 inch nominal wall cavity get cut back 8 inches. Always cut the end closest to the corner. Place these panels in the inside corner track, making sure that the ends line up with the outer panels. Always lap the inner panels the same as the outer panels. Place inner corner brackets over the knobs as shown. Place a full tie as close to the corner as you can, making sure that the two flanges are both inserted in the inner corner bracket. Cut a tie into two pairs of flanges as shown and insert in the outer corner bracket as shown, making sure that the slots closest to the corner have a flange. Now place the ties so they straddle each deep groove in the panel at 12 inches on center. Set an additional pair of panels in each direction, working away from the corner Placing ties at 12 inches on center using the deeper grooves as a guide. Next, continue laying out the panels and ties to a common point midway down the wall. Bring panels and ties from the opposing corner until you're ready to cut the last panel in the middle of the wall. A good place to put this common seam is in the middle of a door or window. First, pull a tape over the entire length of the wall to ensure that the building dimension is correct. Make adjustments if necessary. Now measure the remaining gap between panels and cut panels about a quarter of an inch shorter than the measurement. Cutting these panels too tightly may increase the wall length and force the corners out of plumb. This seam will continue to the top of the wall. Since the seam probably is not on the two inch layout pattern, cut the cross braces out of a tie to form split ties that operate independently of one another. Place one tie on either side of the common seam. 